Welcome back to the channel. You know, at the making of this video, uh, there's just been an influx of young ones, older ones, uh, just people that have not been used to using computers, using them more than ever, mostly because of COVID-19 lockdowns. Now, what if someone had to use your computer? Maybe a child, maybe a relative, and they have to use it regularly. Well, you may be worried about your files and folders getting deleted or moved around by accident, not always about a trust issue. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up a separate account so that they can use the computer without messing with your information, files, or folders. Better yet, you'll get a weekly report to see what's going on in that account to make sure everything is going just as planned. Well, enough of this intro. Let's get started on how to do this. The first step in creating this account would be to go down to the Windows icon at the bottom left. Then click on Settings. Then click on Accounts. Select Family and Other Users. Select Add a Family Member. On the bottom it says No Microsoft Account Create One for Child. You can set up an account without an email, but then you won't be able to do any tracking or monitoring. When you set it up with an email, you'll not only know what websites your child is going to, but you'll get weekly reports. Let's create the account. You can use an existing Microsoft email, or you can type in a new one right here, and then click Next. Enter their name and click Next. Enter their birthday and click Next. Keep in mind that the older they are, the more permissions they will have based on their birthday, but you can change this in your settings. If all was done correctly, you'll now see that it says that they can sign in. Now we have to sign into their account and update some settings. Click anywhere on the screen, and then on the bottom left, you will see their username. Click on that to sign in. Click sign in. Now enter the password you previously set up. Here you will have the option to set up face recognition to sign in, but we're going to skip that for now so that we can enter in a pin for them to sign in. Now create a pin that you will give them to use to sign into the computer. At this point, Microsoft is going to ask you, do you want to share a bunch of your information with them? And do you want advertising to be tracking you? I don't think so. Let's turn all of these off and then click accept. Now click on the Windows icon on the bottom left. Click on the little gear for settings. Now click on accounts. Now click on Manage My Microsoft Account. Click on the top right where it says Family. Now click Manage Permissions. Now turn these three options on. This will allow you to receive reports and to monitor. Now sign out of this account and sign into the admin account, which would be the parental account. After you have signed into the admin parental account, click on the Windows icon on the bottom left. Then click on the gears icon for settings. Go to accounts. You can now access the settings by clicking on family and other users, then manage family settings online. 
This will bring up a web browser. From here, click on activity. Now turn on activity reporting. You're pretty much set from here. With this turned on, they will not be able to go into private browsing, which doesn't store any of the information when browsing. Keep in mind that website controls and browsing controls only apply to Microsoft's Edge browser and not to Chrome and Firefox. When you're in the main screen, you'll have these options at the top, like changing the screen time, the apps and game limits, what games they can play, what type of games, content restrictions based off of Microsoft's ratings. Here you can change their age limit. Then you can click on spending. If you have an account set up with Microsoft for buying apps, this will limit what they can buy and also they will need your permission to purchase. The Find Your Child feature can be set up if you're using a mobile device like an iPhone or an Android. Well, there you go. You're all set. I'll make sure to leave in the description how to use the activity reports along with the link to the Microsoft website so you can have the instructions at hand. See you in the next video.